Wayne Grimes was a county commissioner, a volunteer fireman, and a local contractor with no criminal record. We interviewed four witnesses whose testimony was never heard. Is there yet another innocent man on the mountain falsely convicted? Doyle Presley was found shot in a deer stand in the woods in Grundy County. His wife Sharon Presley said she had dropped him off to go deer hunting in the pre-dawn morning in December of 1998. There immediately became questions though because he was found without the vest that he always wore. That Everybody knew he wore this orange vest. He didn't have a flashlight and Sharon Presley had said she dropped him off at 6 in the morning in December and in December at 6 in the morning it's pitch black until 7 o'clock in the morning. The prosecution said he was shot in the dark in the deer stand deep in the woods and although he had lost lots of blood there was very little blood on the scene. At least begging the question, was he shot somewhere else and then brought here? The case went cold. Presley's wife did not make a statement, not until seven months later with a lawyer present. Someone did come forward immediately, Presley's friend, Wayne Grimes. Grimes said he had talked to Presley the night before and Presley said he was going shopping in Nashville the next morning and mentioned nothing about deer hunting, which was odd because Presley talked about deer hunting all the time. Grimes remembers it clearly during our prison phone call. They were going to go to Nashville the next morning. We was going to do some Christmas shopping and was going to go by and see Doyle's foster mother. It appears no one checked out that story, so we went and found his foster mother, Heidi Williams, in Nashville, who confirms Doyle Presley was coming to visit her the day he was murdered and mentioned nothing about canceling the trip to go deer hunting. Just so I understand, he called and said, I'm coming to visit you. Yeah. And he said, I will be there tomorrow? Yeah. And he never showed up. Right. So we were, we were kind of worried, didn't know if he had a car wreck or whatever happened. We just didn't know. And that was unlike him to tell you, right. I'm coming to see you, and yes. then he just doesn't show yes. up and goes hunting. Right. Like he would have called and said, hey, I won't be yeah. there, or I'm going hunting, or... I won't be there. Doyle Presley loved his foster parents who were there for him when no one else would. They say he would have never stood them up like that. This corroborates Wayne Grimes' story as well. But it's Grimes who was convicted of murdering Doyle Presley. How did that happen? Here's how. Sharon Presley eventually told the TBI Grimes told her he shot her husband. There was no physical evidence. Why did she say this seven months later? Maybe because Sharon Presley was under pressure. In a leaked case update memo from TBI agent Larry Davis, quote, I told Presley that I felt that I have enough evidence to indict her for first-degree murder. I told her the DA is willing to make a deal if she would testify against Wayne Grimes, unquote. We don't know what the TBI had against her, but we do know another witness who was not allowed to testify because of family connections said Sharon Presley hated her husband because he admitted to raping their daughter. She said, I'm going to kill him. She just come out and point blank and said that. I'm going to kill him because I'm not going to let that happen again. And I'm not going to let him rape my granddaughters. And there is the convenience store clerk who never told his story. The day of the murder, he says Sharon Presley walked into his store with a strange purchase. Three gallons of bleach. And she wanted more. She came in and she asked me if we had any more bleach and all we had was three gallons. And I said, no, what's on the shelf is all we've got. There is something else to consider. As a county commissioner, Wayne Grimes had butted heads with the now late sheriff and accused him of looking the other way during the county's meth epidemic. In fact, Grimes was instrumental in keeping local police departments from being disbanded by the sheriff. All I ever done work, i help people. I, I never bothered anybody. And if he told me I had been, would be in prison someday, I would, I would say, well, you're, you're crazy, you know. Grimes was sentenced to life in prison with zero material evidence. He was sentenced to 53 years by the statement of a woman who was being threatened by the TBI and a statement from his own wife, who he was divorcing, who said he chopped up a pair of shoes and threw them in a creek. But here's the thing. One last witness who never told his story. The Grimes child who says he overheard his mother threatening his dad. I heard her say in some of their arguments before they finally split up and divorced that if daddy divorced her, she and Larry Davis and Sharon Presley would make sure to put him away for the murder 
of Bill Presley. And I heard Daddy say this. I heard this at least on two different occasions. Daddy replied, it's a lie and you know it. She, she said, I don't care, I'll say it anyway. Four powerful witnesses finally heard 23 years after the murder. It, you know, it pulls at me, it makes me think about it. I lose sleep at night, you know, it's like, why is this guy in prison? How do we get him out? It's just not fair. By the way, Wayne Grimes was prosecuted by the same prosecutor who prosecuted Adam Brazil, who, as you know, has been exonerated and also apologized to by the judge and Governor Lee. We're going to follow the appeal on this case.